Hey guys, it's Piper Llamas, reporting in as per my weekly Friday schedule. This week we're supposed to pronounce various words to show off both our differing accents and our dialects. Unfortunately, I don't have an accent hailing from Wyoming, which is from the least accented part of any English-speaking country, according to some website I read a little while ago, fairly recently. Not only do I not have an accent, I also am not of legal drinking age, so I can't do anything fun like get really drunk for you guys. However, I think I came up with a reasonable substitute, and I hope you all enjoy. Aunt. Roof. Route. Theater. Iron. Salmon. Caramel. Fire. Water. New Orleans. Pecan. Boat. Again. Probably. Wash. Data. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise. Pajama. Cot. Naturally, and aluminum. Cracker Jack, doorknob. How else can you say doorknob? Or Cracker Jack for that matter. Envelope, ruin. Hill, milk. Antarctic, off. Annunciation. And now, for the question portion of our vlog today. First question. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? Well, toilet papering? TPing? I'd say toilet papering. That's what I'm going to stick with. Second question. What is a bubbly carbonated drink called? I'm going to go with beer. Then we have what do you call gym shoes? Sneakers. Do I call my grandparents? Um, grandma and grandpa? Or uh, for the Turkish side, Anane and Dede. Anane means grandmother, Dede means grandfather. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A cart. Do I need to be specific? Um, a shopping cart. What is the thing you change the TV channel with? Remote controller? Pretty sure that's it. Choose a book and read a passage from it. So, I'm choosing The Little Prince, and I'm going to read the first few paragraphs about a boy being discouraged from his original dream of drawing. <coughs> Once, when I was six years old, I saw a magnificent picture in a book called True Stories from Nature about the primeval forest. It was a picture of a boa constrictor in the act of swallowing an animal. Here is a copy of the drawing. In the book it said, boa constrictors swallow their prey whole without chewing it. After that, they are not able to move and they sleep through the six months that they need for digestion. I pondered deeply then over the adventures of the jungle and after some work with a colored pencil, I succeeded in making my first drawing. My drawing number one. It looked like this. I showed my masterpiece to the grown-ups and asked them whether the drawing frightened them. But they answered, frightened? Why should anyone be frightened by a hat? My drawing was not a picture of a hat. It was a picture of a boa constrictor digesting an elephant. But since the grown-ups were not able to understand it, I made another drawing. I drew the inside of the boa constrictor so that the grown-ups could see it clearly. They always need to have things explained. My drawing number two looked like this. The grown-ups' response this time was to advise me to lay aside my drawings of boa constrictors, whether from the inside or the outside, and devote myself instead to geography, history, arithmetic, and grammar. That is why, at the age of six, I gave up what might have been a magnificent career as a painter. I had been disheartened by the failure of my drawing number one and my drawing number two. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves, and it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. I happen to agree with that sentence. Do I think I have an accent? Hmm? I accidentally already addressed that. I don't believe I have any accent at all. Correct me if I'm mistaken. Be a wizard or a vampire for the final question. And I'm going to have to say wizard. Their breadth of power is much more impressive. If a vampire wants to fly, he has to turn into a bat and, you know, do a little fly away thing. He also is only restricted to nighttime hours and can eat garlicky foods, which are some of my favorites. This is, of course, if you are sticking to the traditional vampire as opposed to the twilight faggotry that has ruined them for all of us. Not to mention, Harry Potter. Finally, I'm supposed to say three words that I like. Twitterpated, indubitably, 
and fuck. And that's my vlog for the week. I hope you liked it. Most of the hats and sunglasses were mine. Um, the more outlandish things that you saw today were, in fact, my sister's. She has a hat collection, which she was gracious enough to let me borrow, as long as I put them back properly when I'm done. And in total, there are 21 objects. I figured I might as well do two words for each hat or pair of sunglasses. I had to rummage quite a bit to find all these. See you guys next week. If you have any truth or dare questions, feel free to ask them, as always, or any requests for music. I know I've been bad. I'm supposed to do Rhapsody in Blue. That will be coming next week. Cross my heart. All right. See you guys later.